All right. Uh, I want to teach you guys how to uh, use these chords. Um, for example, if you want to play in church. If you guys don't go to church, Calvary Chapel is a good place to start. Okay, just kidding. But uh, here we go. On the top of the songs, this is a Christian song. It says F, which means you'll play an F major. Maybe I can get this over here. Don't know where to go. Okay, well, I guess. Well, that's a bummer. Aha, I take that. Now I have both. So, um, F, which means F major. Left hand play an octave or something. Now A with the M. That means A minor. Now we're going to go to C major. And then G major. Just kind of rolled it. So there's one, five, eight, left hand. And then, uh, one, three, five, whatever. On the right. So here, this kind of has a pattern. It's something like that for the pace, let's say. So. over to the next chord. Kind of like a jump. Like a hop. I don't know. That's what it reminds you of. This is where it's important to know those little techniques because doing uh, closed position still is very basic and it'll send you all over the place so it won't sound very close together. This just everything blends well. walking inside that pentatonic scale. Still in the pentatonic scale, I think. Yeah. Well, that's a seven. You don't want to play that. It's more jazz. Okay, there we go. So G major. Let's start on the F. Oh, I guess I can't point right here. F. This kind of happens twice, so I just... This part I really like to go on the low end. So let's move this over. Okay, here we go. Uh, octave, full chord on the right hand. You know, uh, one, three, five, eight. So. For here, I had to jump because my fingers um, they don't stretch as well as they should. Concert grand. Could go a little softer here. Um, say you're on the D, the D minor. Another thing I like to do in music is uh, you just change it up. So right now, the whole time, you're just playing. In the right hand, just. Then it goes to A. You know, that's that's all good for, you know, for this first uh, verse. Um, but once you just keep playing it, someone that's really listening to the music and enjoying it, they might be like, hey, it's like techno. Why doesn't it change? Um, I like newer techno because it gets louder and softer. That's uh, different techniques, volume, attack. So you add those little things in there, and uh, it'll, show, it'll show in there. It'll make it sound nicer because it changes up a little bit. It's familiar, but changes. Contrast. So left hand maybe is going quick here. 
It's got the action while the, the right hand just... switch over to where the movement's in the right. It's got that hiss on this piano. I guess uh, if you were a sound tech, you could use some of this stuff. It's an equalizer to... to um, to reduce that, but uh, I'm not that good at stuff. Um, okay. Different things you can do. I want to go back to my upright piano. I like upright. Here, you're just going to play that whole chord, um, D minor, and you just flop it in the right hand. You just walk up, so... Just kind of hop back here. That's how I do it. And then D minor, F major. go so this is uh called leaf sheet notation you read it by the chords on the top it's got a little m it's minor it's just natural it's a major then eventually you'll get into some other stuff um so this is i wait on the lord uh, what happens is you got e minor f Sorry. D minor, D major. Da, da, da. Uh, that's um, C suspended second. Okay, so now we got a new chord. Remember this? This is the basic major. You can take your pointer finger and move it over to the left. Now that's a suspended second. Second note. Major. Suspended fourth. So. If you're playing music, you're basically always playing a chord unless you're playing one note at a time. That's what's cool about it. So learn, learn all that stuff, and it's cool. Uh, cool in the sense that it sounds nice because it's all harmonic. See, so yeah, I'm playing in a C suspended fourth to transaction into the F major. So uh, here's some new ideas. Throw it in your music playing. Hopefully you guys will work out good. Um, if you're even not a piano player, these techniques could work. Um, I'm trying to think. The reason why I say could work is because it's hard to play chords. On something like a saxophone, you'd have to arpeggio. Uh, so you play stuff like that. Um, guitar player, you probably... You get those chords off. So thanks for watching, guys. Um, I don't know what I'll do next, but I'll think of something.